Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new app updates that you can encounter in Windows 11, the main release. So I'm sure that most of you are using the Windows 11 main release and probably most of you don't know that certain apps are getting updated, are getting new versions rolled out behind the scenes without Microsoft necessarily announcing that because it is a slow rollout. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Microsoft Store app update and also the new Paint app that now has dark mode support inside the main release of Windows 11. So if you enjoy videos like this, in which we talk about different news regarding Windows 11. Please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, let's check out the new Microsoft Store app because regarding the Microsoft Store, it is a pretty small update if you look at it from the outside. And in the Microsoft Store, you will now see a new section which is called AI Hub inside the main release. I think this has been here for a month or so already inside the main release. So I think that a lot of you noticed it already. But basically, this new AI Hub section will feature apps that use AI to do certain processes, certain tasks in Windows 11. For example, as you can see here, we have the Luminar Neo app as the front page of the AI Hub from the Microsoft Store. Basically, this is an app that will use AI to edit your photos. And of course, you have a button to try it out. And here, you'll have a lot more apps that are trending, new apps that use AI. And I think that is pretty interesting to have a different section where you can check all the different apps that use the AI technology to make tasks and certain processes in Windows 11 faster. Now, as I said, we also have the new paint app with dark mode that is slowly rolling out in the Windows 11 main release. So you may not see it right away. Maybe you need to wait a bit for that. But as you can see, now the paint app is supporting dark mode. I think that is pretty nice. I'm just going to paint this to dark so we can see better. And this will match the Windows 11 experience, of course. And in my opinion, the dark mode in inside the paint app looks way better. And if you go in the right side here in open settings, you will also have some app theme settings. You can choose light, dark, or system setting. Basically, system setting will automatically get the system setting that you're currently using, this being the dark mode in my case. For this update in the paint app, we also have certain ways to zoom in. We have the fit to window button, which is, I think, a very nice addition, and it is very useful. We also have percentages to zoom in, and we also have a slider that we can use to zoom in and zoom out. Of course, whenever you're doing these edits, you can just click on the fit to window button and your edit will be fitted right again inside the paint app window. In the paint app, Microsoft has also added some improvements regarding the image properties section where everything is way better placed and designed because this will match the Windows 11 design principles better. And you have here image properties, of course, different information about your image, image size, and so on. In my opinion, this is a great update for the paint app. I'm not sure how many of you are using the paint app so i'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments below if you are using the paint app for simple edits your photos if you ask me i sometimes use the paint app to quickly resize an image so i don't have to open other software i just open the image inside paint use the resize function from here and pixels and quickly resize it to the resolution i want for example 1080p and i think this is pretty pretty fast to do it inside the paint app and maybe for some simple highlights maybe i want to highlight something when i'm writing an article on the website and so on. But overall, I'm using the paint app for simple things such as resizing or highlighting certain stuff. Basically, these are the new app updates inside the main release, the new Microsoft Store with the new AI Hub section, and the new paint app with dark mode support, options for zooming in, and also a redesigned image properties dialog, which I think looks very, very nice. As I've said, I'm looking forward to you in the comments below to see your opinion on these apps that are getting updates in the main release. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.